One of the most amazing features of ChatGPT compared to previous model versions that had been prior released for testing by OpenAI was the ability to ask a question, receive a response from the assistant, and then be able to ask a follow-up based on the response given in order to better refine or augment the next response. For developers like ourselves using the GPT 3.5 Turbo API to create our own bespoke online user experiences, one of the most important facts we need to keep in mind is that conversation history for any interaction with ChatGPT is not stored on the OpenAI server side. This means that with every request made to the OpenAI server through our API application, we are the ones responsible for passing in the records of every previous user or GPT assistant message to the API if we wish for the next response to follow on from a conversation thread. This also means that the storage of any previous conversation history messages that we want to recall during our activity must be managed on the client side i.e. the side of the user. Thankfully, as Articulate Storyline developers, we already have an ideal solution here in our hands to manage this using Storyline's inbuilt text variable system. For any other bespoke web application development, we might have needed to look at databases and local storage as options, for example. But in our case, by keeping a running record of each message and response in unique variables within our Storyline application, our lives are made a lot more simpler. When building a conversation-driven experience using the GPT API, it is also important to be mindful of the token spend that is taking place with each call we are making to the GPT API under our account credentials. As more and more conversation data is potentially included with each call to the API, this too will increase the cost calculated by OpenAI in order to process the response to these API requests. This is why setting a hard limit to your monthly usage spend in your OpenAI Manage Account screen is a good idea in order to keep a good track of things. Let's get started now by opening up our Node.js application.